Hello everyone, today I have a new hairstyle compilation tutorial. I'm doing 10 quick and easy summer hairstyles in just 10 minutes. Between beachy waves and straight hair, I have a ton of hairstyles that utilize accessories that I'm currently obsessed with and I can't wait to share with you guys. So I'm starting off with some loose beachy waves and I already have a tutorial on my waves routine. So I'll link it in the top right hand corner. It's a little outdated with the products that I was using in that video, but I'll try my best to get you guys an updated routine sometime soon. Some new products that I've been using have been this hairspray from Dry Bar. This is the Sheriff and I'm just lightly spritzing this to the mids and also the ends of my hair because that's where my curls tend to drop. For my bangs, I'm using a little bit of styling paste. This is the Whiskey Fix again from Dry Bar because I wanted to emphasize that middle part and a bit of a messy bang. We are done with our beachy waves and this is actually going to be the base for our first hairstyle and I'm just going to be using these super adorable crystal floral hair clips and I'm just clipping them on each side of my hair to hold it back and also give some decoration. Although this is a very simple hairstyle, this is actually my favorite in this entire video just because of how practical and wearable it is. For our next hairstyle, I'm going to be taking a one inch section on each side of my hair and I'm going to braid those into some very basic braids and I'm going to tug a little bit of the hair on each side of the braid and give it a bit more volume. Then I'm tying it off with an elastic and taking the end of the hair, I'm looping it around itself to create sort of like an empty bun. Taking some bobby pins, I'm just crossing them over each other to create a super secure hold on both the top and the bottom of the bun. And from the side, you can see how it looks. It's a little bit difficult to completely mask the appearance of the bobby pins for this hairstyle, but I feel like it's not too noticeable and I honestly don't think it really matters. And then I'm just repeating on the other side. And I like this hairstyle because rather than creating two little buns, I feel like this is a little bit more of a unique take on that half updo with a double bun look. For this next hairstyle, I think it's really fun and I think it's pretty unique. I don't know what these are called, but I'm going to call them bubble braids. And that's where you create two pigtails and then taking some clear or colored elastics, um, about an inch or two down the first elastic, you're just going to tie it off and create a little bit of a bubble. And using your fingertips, you can shape it to be as puffy as you like and just repeat for as big or small as bubbles as you like until you reach the end of your hair. And I just did three bubbles in total because I wanted to leave a bit of the waves at the bottom of my hair visible. And then I have these fabric clips in a bunch of colors that I have been obsessed with for the summer. I think they're so cute and they add so much color to any plain hairstyle. So I wish I had enough clips to do a rainbow, but I didn't. So ultimately I ended up with this sort of alternating color scheme, which I think still looks really cute and it's definitely a super youthful and playful hairstyle. For these next two looks, we're going to utilize some ribbon. So any sort of ribbon that you have laying around will work perfectly. First, I'm just going to pull over some hair and create a side part. And then using some pink satin ribbon, I'm measuring an amount that doubles the length of my hair. And then taking a bobby pin, I'm just going to insert that through the middle of the ribbon. Then taking a one inch section of hair, I'm just going to bobby pin this ribbon underneath that section of hair so that I can hide the bobby pin. I'm going to be doing a basic Dutch braid, but I'm splitting the ribbon and incorporating them into the braid. Again, I'm just using my fingers to lightly pull on each side of the braid to give it a little bit more volume. And then I'm tying it off with a clear elastic at the end. So at the end, I had a bit of extra ribbon, so I'm just tying it off and carefully, I just used some scissors to snip off the remaining ribbon. And the different kinds of ribbons that you can use really opens up a lot of possibilities with how you want this hairstyle to look. Next, I'm going to need two pieces of ribbon and when doubled over, it should reach from the top of my head to the bottom of my hair. Again, it's the same concept where I want to hide this ribbon a bobby pin underneath my hair so it's not peeking out. So I'm just going to pin this underneath one section of my hair. Again, I'm going to be doing a Dutch braid, but this time I'm going to be creating two pigtails. So I'm completely braiding all of my hair. And then after securing the end with a clear elastic, I'm just going to repeat this on the other side. It is a little bit of a twist on just some basic French braids. Next for this hairstyle, I am going to pull all of my hair into the highest ponytail possible. And I don't think I mentioned it in this video yet, but the brush that I've been picking up throughout this entire video is the wet brush, which is the perfect brush 
for all of these hairstyles and it's the best brush in the world. And I'm using an Invisibubble to tie this off because I love these coily hair ties that don't leave a mark in your hair. With my high ponytail, I'm splitting it off into two sections right down the middle. And then with each section, I'm just twisting it and leaving about like five to six inches of hair at the bottom. And I'm twisting it over itself to create a little bun. Again, taking some bobby pins, I'm just crossing them over each other to keep this hair down and super secure. Then again, I'm just repeating this on the other side. Again, I accessorized with some of those fabric clips that I'm obsessed with, and that is it for this look. I honestly don't know where I was going with this one, but I just felt like it was a little bit different from doing just a regular ponytail or a regular bun, so this is how it came out. So we are going to reverse in time a little bit and originally I started out this video with straight hair and we are going to finish off with some super simple hairstyles. So for this one, I'm splitting my bangs straight down the middle and I'm taking like half an inch to an inch of hair in the front and I'm just going to braid that straight down into a very simple braid. And I do want to say that this hairstyle really doesn't look good on me because I have so many layers from the side pieces to my front bangs that they were just kind of sticking out everywhere. So I do think that this is a really cute hairstyle but it's mainly for people who have longer bangs or people who don't have bangs at all. But anyway, I'm tying that off with a couple of elastics to try to tame those ends as much as possible. And then I'm just repeating on the other side. Again, taking those jeweled clips, I'm clipping these to each side of the front of my head to finish off this look. It's just a great way to get your hair out of your face during the summer and you can accessorize however you like. Then for this next hairstyle, I'm going to split my hair straight down the center and I'm going to be doing some high ponytails on each side. Then on each side, I'm going to be doing some loose rope braids. So to do a rope braid, just split a ponytail right in the center and then twirl each piece of hair away from each other. Once you have two pieces that are completely twisted, take those pieces and twist those around each other and then secure at the end with an elastic. And then I'm just going to be repeating on the other side. And I will admit, I have never attempted to do a rope braid before this tutorial, so I think I'm not the best example at it, but I still really liked the result. Again, I'm bringing back those fabric bows, and I picked four alternating colors to hide my elastics at the top and also at the bottom of each pigtail. And I really loved how this looked because I felt like it was such a unique take on just normal pigtails. So for this hairstyle, it's a super easy segue because I've just taken off those fabric bows and I'm just taking each end of my braid and I'm looping it around itself to create a bun. I'm just using crossed bobby pins to secure that in place super well and then I'm going to repeat on the other side. And lastly, I'm taking those fabric bows again to just accessorize at the base. And I feel like this is an interesting take on a messy bun. It definitely looks a little bit more unique than just piling your hair on itself because it has a bit of a texture and a pattern going on. And lastly, for our final hairstyle, I just wanted to finish off with something super simple. This is actually my go-to hairstyle to wear at home. Again, I'm splitting my hair straight down the middle and with a low ponytail, I'm just twisting this away from itself and twisting it tightly until it collapses on itself into a little coil. Then you can use either bobby pins or a hair tie to secure this in place. And in this case, I'm using bobby pins so a hair tie doesn't show. I'm repeating this on the other side. And finally, I'm just accessorizing with more fabric bows and that is it for this hairstyle and for this entire video. We finally got through 10 hairstyles. I'm not gonna lie, I was really tired by the time I finished filming this. But I hope you guys enjoyed this compilation tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching as always and I will see you guys again next time.